welcome back to another haul. So this one was a BoxyCharm pop-up shop haul. Uh, it's actually from several months ago now, <laughs> and I've been meaning to film this, and then I would misplace the box, and then I would find the box but not have time to film it that day, only to misplace it again. Lather, rinse, repeat, you don't know how many times this fucking happened. <laughs> I am the worst! I am the worst! So we're finally doing it today. <laughs> uh, there is quite a bit here, and yet, I don't think I even spent, like, grand total a hundred bucks, because they were that good of deals. Yeah, I couldn't pass them up, so. Uh, just in no particular order, just reaching into the box and pulling shit out. From Ace Beauté, we have the Grandiose Palette. I honestly don't even remember what most of this stuff looks like at this point because it's been several months. So this is going to be like a surprise to me as much as it is to you. So loving the packaging. And, ooh, yes. Okay, especially with the new red hair, these are going to be fun to wear. Although I was already stoked for shades like that, so okay. And the glitter doesn't look too chunky or anything, so very wearable, very nice. Looking forward to that. Okay, another one from Ace Beauté, the Oceanic palette. Ooh, it's gonna be blues and greens in it. Oh, I can feel it in my bones. I feel like I do vaguely recall what this one looked like. Yes, I do. Okay, let me block the mirror, because this one does have a mirror, unlike the last one. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, especially with the red hair now. Oh, those greens are going to be even more fun to wear than they were already going to be. Oh, hell yes. I am here for it, my dudes. I am here for it. So we have those two palettes. Try to close the boxes. Keep them in a nice shape till I review them, or at least swatch them. We have another, i would actually forgotten about these, another Kiate London Glitter Flip Holographic, I think lip gloss. Is it gloss? Transforming lip color. But is it a gloss? Liquid lipstick. Okay, whatever. I have one mini size one from Ipsy from forever ago, but my dudes, look! Look at this beauty! My god, like everything about this, like even the cap. Even the thing, even the tube, I'm just like, oh, oh this is so me. <laughs> Seven-year-old me is screaming over the colors, but like, straight up, even today, I'm like, yes, and it's got stars all over it. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, I'm fangirling so hard, you don't even know. It's why I had to have it. <laughs> don't know how it's going to look with this hair, and you know what, I don't give a shit, I'm wearing it anyway. So, I got that. From Honest Beauty, we have this uh, Demi Matte Lip Crayon in the color Peony, so nice pink shade. We have a box of Honey Jarrett Super Beauty Masks in Lemon Honey. I've got a bunch of the rose ones, so I'm glad to have something that's other than just the rose ones, because I knew they had to make something else besides just rose, and they do. It's lemon honey. And also green apple, <laughs> because I have no chill. But because I have so many of the rose ones already, these each have how many? How many is in here? Five are in each. I probably have more than, like, a box's worth of those rose ones just that I've amassed over time, one at a time, through different sets, different beauty boxes. Everyone likes to send out that one. And I like them. Don't get me wrong. I just wanted to try something other than what I've already used a bunch of times over. Then, from I Do Care, we have the Namaste Kitten and the Clarifying Cannabis Sativa Hemp Seed Cleanser. So that's going to be a nice big tube or bottle, which is it? Tube or bottle? I say tube. It's a tube. Yeah, I was like, I'm pretty sure it's a tube. Yeah. Ooh, I like the texturing of that bottle, too. It's a little bit velvety. I'm like, ooh, nice, nice. Okay. So we have that. We have, because again, I have no chill. Another palette. So this is the Violet Voss. I do not care. Fun-sized eyeshadow palette. 
Oh, look, even at the back for like their previews of the colors, their little donuts. Oh my god, I love it. Oh my god, I love the theming so hard. Their little rain donuts. Oh my god. Oh, I have no chill. I have no chill. Oh, go no good. It's on the back of the ballet, too. Okay. I'm way too pleased with that. And the actual pans do not look like donuts, but they're really effing cute. Like, can we just appreciate? Can we appreciate? Yes, we can. Oh my god. We stand. We stand. Okay. So we have that. I think I actually might be the most excited for this one so far. <laughs> Even as gorgeous as those other two palettes are, I think I'm more excited for that one. Okay, so. What the hell was in there? I don't even know. Oh. <laughs> so this is by a brand called Pinky Rose. And I kept seeing this brand turn up over and over and over again through this pop-up sale. I'd never heard of them before, so I have no idea if they're quality or not. But this is their Bright Lights palette. And when you say, I do remember what this one is. Mm -hmm. Yes! Holy shit. Okay, let me block the mirror. Yes! Yes! Bring it! Those are some chunky glitters. A little nervous about the glitters, but oh my god, look at the mats! Look at them! Love them! Yes! Okay. I'm here for it. I am so here for it. We have a thumbnail polish by a brand called Rosa Charlie Dixie in Coastal Craze this gorgeous blue. Look, it's Mega Man Blue! Like, straight up! That was a happy accident! I didn't even remember that. That just worked out. That just worked out. <laughs> and from Julep, it's Balm Full Coverage Lip Crayon in Electric Coral Cream. Ooh! You know how I love me some fun reds! Oh, interesting. Okay, so it has like a hydrating core in it. All right. Okay, I'm here for it. That That's fun. I didn't even realize it had that <laughs> when I bought it. It was like a couple bucks. So I was like, all right, cool. Get in the cart. Get in the cart. Similar layer. The Julep It's Balm Full Coverage Lip Crayon in Nectar Pink Cream. I guess this one's bigger or something. Or not. Uh, how do I... Okay, I was like, how do I even get to it? No, it's the same size! Then why the hell is this so small and that's so big? It's, like, literally... Literally the same size, though. I'm so confused. Like, that is such unnecessary packaging. <laughs> Given you could do it on the other one, but okay, whatever. I don't even care. Okay, careful. All right. That is not as pink as I was expecting, but it'll be okay. Like, it, it'll flatter. But I definitely was expecting a more pinky shade <laughs> out of that, given all the packaging. And that's okay. I don't even mind. I don't even mind. Just saying. That, that is misleading. That is misleading as fuck. We have from Hey Honey. And this I definitely bought mostly just because the name is the Besame Mucho, just like the Beatles song. Shea Butter and Propolis Lip Balm. So that's a thing. But definitely bought that 100% because of the name. I probably wouldn't have bothered otherwise. But with the name, I had to. I had to. So from Morphe, we have a highlighter stick. And Illuminance. So, it, thankfully it's not as dark as that box made it look like it's gonna be. Like, that looks like it's gonna be nice. And I think that's, like, really intended for, like, up here just below the brow. So, like, if I actually take the time to do my damn brows, <laughs> then I can use this right underneath to brighten up right beneath. So, that would be nice. We have another of those Julep It's Bomb full coverage lip crayons, and this one's in Wisteria. And now I know it's not a huge thing, it's just huge packaging for literally no reason whatsoever, other than to annoy us all. And to be wasteful to the environment. Let's see, is it gonna look anything like the- okay! 
This one is more true to the color on the box, thankfully. Although, to be fair, this is closer to the color I was expecting from that pink one, but that's okay. At least this looks like what's on this box, because if it were another lying type one, I'd probably be starting to get a little upset with them right now, but nah, that one's okay. Just the one-off. We have another of those Arosa Charlie Dixie Coastal Craze. Oh, I guess Coastal Craze was not the name of the other color. Oh, this is Beachy Sunset, and it's a pretty purple. So what was the other color, then? I thought that was just the name. Oh, Bahama Blue. That makes more sense. Okay. They're just from the Coastal Craze collection, I suppose. All right. Shows what I know. From Milk Makeup, we have... The Kush Lip Balm in Bubble. <laughs> because everything is weed-themed when it comes to milk makeup. <laughs> Can I open it without fucking this up? Probably not. Um, yeah, okay, so we're just gonna leave it shut for now until I review it, because I don't want to destroy the cool packaging before the review. So this is in the color Bubble. Should look like that. Don't know if it's going to be a triangular tube. I'm hoping it's not, because I remember those LA Colors ones, and I really was not a fan of that janky-ass shape, so. Hopefully it's not like that, but if it is, we'll make it work. From Honest Beauty, we have the Tinted Lip Balm in Dragon Fruit. Look at that. If it's scented like Dragon Fruit, that's going to be fun. We have, from Kiate London, in the Miss Piggy collection, Piggy Power Gloss Lipstick in, is there a color for the name? Or is Piggy Power the name? Universal Pink infused with donut flavor. I could have sworn there was a color name. Maybe not. Maybe I'm thinking of something else. I think I have something else from this line. Oh my god, my phone. No, I guess the color is just Piggy Power. Alright. This is, like, surprisingly hefty. Is it because it's Miss Piggy they had to make it heavy? That's kind of rude, if so. Oh, it's magnetic! Get it. Get it. Yeah! I did not tap it shut. I barely tapped it just so the magnet would go. Yeah! Okay. So the color itself... Oh, shit! It says stuff! Who? Believe in moi. Uh, where are you? Wait. Are you talking to moi? Where does it start at? If you got it, flaunt it. Uh, love moi, just over and over again. Then hi -ya! Oh my god, that's so funny! All right, their theming is on fucking point with this. Like, oh my god, that theming alone is, like, worth the price of admission, even if I had paid full price for that. <laughs> Holy crap. That's adorable. Oh my god. I, I actually really like that. I grew up on the Muppets, so I'm like, yes. Okay. Okay, I got goosebumps over that. Uh, from Rima Beauty, which I've never heard of before. This is the Jet Setter Loose Setting Powder, which... I admittedly bought and forgot that I bought, or I would not have bought the Laura Mercier setting powder. Well, apparently I'm real good on setting powder for a while now, so <laughs> fuck. I knew damn well I had setting powder somewhere, I just didn't realize that's where, or I would have dug this out sooner. Okay, so from Honest Beauty, another of the Demi Matte Lip Crayons in Melon. So that's gonna be a pretty color, hopefully, if it actually shows up that color. And another one, I dropped it in strawberry. I bought basically all they had in stock, like one of each color. Oh, another of the milk makeups. I uh, have lip balm. This one's in canna tonic. Aha! 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 We jokes, love it. I know some of you will not be amused, but I'm pretty amused. Okay, so this is from Morphe, and it's a pointed mini blender brush, because why the shit not? Uh, it was like a dollar, so I was like, fuck it, yeah, get it. What? Sorry, did not mean to knock shit down by throwing stuff around. Another Julep Bits Balm Full Coverage Lip Crayon in Vintage Peach Shimmer. Will this look anything more like what's on the box? Let's find out. 
Probably not. Uh, kind of, but I guess they're like really just like not that spot on with their peach ones. Can you like go back in your, okay. I was like, go back in your holder, please. Cause there's a little slot in the box. Okay. What is this? Did I fuck up? I fucked up. I bought two of this, but that's okay. I can always use more cleanser. This is the I Do Care Namaste Kitten cleanser. A second time. Second time. Don't know if I screwed up and put two in the cart and didn't notice. Don't know if this is from a second pop-up sale and I forgot that I bought it in the first pop-up sale and added it to the box. I have a feeling it was that one. More likely. Oops. Like I said, it'll get used. It'll get used. Just takes time for me to go through them. All right. So another Honest Beauty tinted lip balm in Plum Drop. So this one's like really dark, and I hope it does smell like plum because plums are awesome. Look at that. It's like almost the color of my hair. That's fun. So I want to be all monochromatic sometime. This is from Grace and Stella. If eyes could smile, eye cream. So I have like a fuck ton, like a literal metric fuck ton of that lavender hand cream that Ipsy likes to hand out at every possible opportunity. So seeing literally any other product from this brand finally pop up, I was like, sure, let's try that because I like that lavender hand cream. Don't get me wrong. They just have sent me like 30 of it at this point. I'm like, dude, why do you keep sending me that? It's not like I keep buying it. No, no. They keep throwing it in as like bonus items with like purchases I'm like dude like slow your roll <laughs> please I have so many I have so many I have gifted so many and I still have so many <laughs> okay so another of the pinky rose uh this is the exotic peacock Ooh, I don't even remember what this one looks like but just by name I'm like ooh, is it gonna be what I think it is oh it is yes okay okay yes okay <laughs> Oh my goodness, I just got so excited over those colors, I got goosebumps again, yes! Oh, uh, this is why I totally don't even mind when I put off filming a haul, because I totally forget what I bought. And then when I see it, I get all excited, like it's my first time seeing it all over again. Okay, we have another of the Honest Beauty Demi Matte Lip Creams in Mulberry. Yeah, kind of matchy-matchy with the hair right now, especially if I'm... Um, I can perk this color back up. I've only washed it twice and it's already faded down that much. I'm a little disappointed. <laughs> Getting some color boosting conditioner and shampoo up in here. So hopefully it'll go somewhere approximating the same color it was. Okay, this is from Honest Beauty. Tinted lip balm in white nectarine. Therefore, not tinted, it's clear. But nectarine though, that's fun. So I got it. And another of the Arosa Charlie Dixie Coastal Craze nail polishes in number one, baby. So, nice red. You know, I love me some red polish. We have another Julep It's Bomb full coverage lip crayon in Canyon Rose Creme. Okay, that's pretty. I like that. I just have to be really careful when they're shaped like this not to F up and gouge the sides of it with the cap, both on the in and the out, so that's like my one complaint about designs like that, where they don't roll down into the thing. I have to be uber careful. I'm not an uber careful person, so... Okay, we have, I think, one more of the Honest Beauty Tinted Lip Balms. This is in Blood Orange. They did have more than these. They just were sold out of a bunch of the other ones, so... But of the ones that weren't sold out, I bought them all. I knew I had another Miss Piggy thing. So this is the Love Moi Lip Balm. Okay, that's where I was getting Love Moi from, because I was like, I know damn well I remember that was a thing. Again, this is, like, surprisingly heavy. Are you kidding? They have a booklet, directions for use. It's lip balm. It's fucking lip balm. You don't need a booklet. <laughs> okay. Ooh, moi. Oh, I like that. Is it got stuff? <gasps> it does. It does have stuff on the sides. And by the way, cute. 
that is a more Miss Piggy color, if you ask me. What's this one? Sir? Better yet. Oh, wait, no. Who? Better yet. Believe in. Huh. Okay, it does say, like, the same stuff. Okay. So, depending on where it was in, like, the printing cycle, I guess, depends on how much it actually says on the things. All right. So, we don't need to sit there and try to struggle to read those, because we already did the thing. But, again, theming on point. Love it. Love it. Another pinky rose. <laughs> this is Luscious Plum. I'm noticing a theme here, but, again, I've never heard of this brand before. And it was surprisingly cheap, so I'm admittedly not going in with high expectations on quality. But the colors, though! My dudes! My dudes! The colors! The colors! <laughs> Sorry. I'm so mature today, aren't I? Always. Always. Anyway. And I think there's only like one or two more things. Yeah. Yeah, but Julep, It's Bomb, Full Coverage Lip Cream. Now, see, we're back to this type box. <laughs> In Flamingo Pink. Ooh, bring it. This is going to be, like, my favorite one, huh? I bet you it is. Oh, I bet you it is. Yes! Look at it. That's beautiful. It totally looks like that Miss Piggy one, though. <laughs> Noticing a theme. Love me some hot pink. And then, finally... One more Pinky Rose palette, which is fucking massive. This is the Pink Paradise. Like, it's so extra. It's so fucking extra. And I so love it. I never thought I'd be that person saying that about pink anything, and yet here we are. Who even am I anymore? Like, I went from I hate pink to, oh my god, give me all of the pink things. I love it again. Like, I don't even know. But yeah, double checking. Yes, that was the last thing in the box. So, that was everything from the boxy charm pop-up sale haul. <laughs> uh, technically, it was two different pop-up sales combined into one, but anyway, as you do, as you do, if you think this was bad, I've been naughty with Ipsy again, but we're, we're doing that another day. We're not doing that today, too. So anyways, well, that's it for this one. So as usual, you know what to do. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. If you're not already and you'd like to be, click subscribe. Hit that notification bell icon so you never miss an upload. Leave comments down below. Make sure you're following my social media accounts, my Facebook fan page, my Twitter, my Instagram, my Etsy, everything and more. It's all down below. And if you like what I do here on this channel and you'd like to help support it and get your name on the end card for a month from the time of donating, anyways, um... Uh, the donation link, as always, is down in the description. So anyway, guys, till next time, see ya.